Welcome back, everybody, to Serene Queen TV. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? Today, I'm going to be talking about Ken the Man signing with Rock Nation, okay? Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe. And, of course, let's talk in the comments. Okay, I'm going to say, finding this news out makes me feel so vindicated because... I said in a video a while back, I made a video about like most of the mainstream um, or and some of the girls who are still kind of underground. Um, I made like a bunch of videos talking about like female rappers, giving my opinion, you know, about them. And I did mention Ken the man. And I said that I, you know, um, thought that she sounded a lot like Megan and um, they have this very similar similar voices similar accents they're from the same city they're rapping about the same things you know she's another Megan in my opinion and I made a video saying you know how um, Megan and Stallion got Ken the man out the way because the only difference between them was one was um, more mainstream than the other, but otherwise, Megan and Ken the Man are interchangeable rappers, in my opinion. And clearly, Jigga Man and friends over at Rock Nation feel the same way. So, if y'all haven't heard that video, you know, go check it out and um, go stream Not My Nigga by Ken the Man. That's how I was introduced uh, to her. Uh, a friend of mine played Not My Nigga. And I was like, yeah, I really like this. Like, great song content, great song, great beat, everything, all of that. Like, it was a hit, complete hit. So, um, and I listened to more of her music, and I was like, hmm, okay, sounds like Megan. Like, even again, the voice, the accent, all of it. They're from Houston. They have, like, that Houston accent. They talk the same. They have the same style. Everybody looks like each other. But here's another thing. Why the fuck is Ken the man over there if they already have Megan, right? But that just goes to show you that something is going on with Megan and with Rock Nation on a business level. Um, for them to sign pretty much like the same fucking artist. You know, the, again, you guys, people are not making money off music. People are not making money off streams. And I've been told y'all in, in my video about Megan. I did a video about Megan too where I said I think this whole ritual because it's clearly a ritual this whole mess with Tori I feel like that really um affected Megan in a negative way you know these people they these demons be telling them oh yeah you do this you do that yeah it's gonna be like this and it's gonna be like this and we're gonna do this you know just go do this and sometimes it it work and then sometimes it don't and that's why magic is not um, not good because like getting involved in sorcery and magic and all that because it doesn't work all the time even for people who feel like you know they're doing white magic and they're just like you know trying to manifest and blah blah, blah. you know some of that stuff it doesn't happen because you're just a human being and there are other dimensions and you do not control everything sometimes the rituals work sometimes they don't and I feel like with Rihanna the ritual worked because now Rihanna's on top of the world. And they clearly told Megan, yeah, if you go through with this ritual with Tori, you know, you're going to be big like Rihanna. But it didn't hit. It didn't hit. It didn't hit like it should have. Because, okay, and, and at first it seemed like, yeah, you got your number one with Beyonce. You know, oh, yeah, you got your three Grammys. Three fucking Grammys. But the truth is, Megan was just used as a pawn to help get Beyonce another number one. And she was used as a pawn to help get Beyonce to um, those 28 Grammys. That's why Beyonce never even performed a song with her, but they have a Grammy for performing a song together. That just goes to show you that this is all politics. And this ain't about, you know, music. It's not about friends. It's not about love. It's not about nothing but getting a f the fucking bag. And fame and status and, and power within Satan's system. On some real shit. Um, I think it's great that uh, Ken the Man didn't follow up behind Erica Banks and Simon 1501 because them two, you know, 
them them two were trying or they too were trying to create you know another megan out of erica and look how it was going for erica megan was supposed to go on love and hip-hop but she didn't and that was a smart move erica ended up going to love and hip-hop because she needed to some people do what they want some people do what they can and erica had to do what she could by taking that love and hip-hop shit now megan is in a weird situation to where she's more of an influencer than a rapper she's going down the cardi b route um and the root of many of these other girls it's very very few girls who are really rapping and taking their shit serious it's a lot of chicks who you know they just they just chilling and you know they rapping you know but it's really not hitting and you guys it's so much more that goes along with it too it's really all about how much are you willing to do it's not about your talent it's not about your drive or your work ethic it's about how much are you willing to do in the game of Freemasonry? How well, how good of a pawn are you willing to be? And with, you know, Ken the man, I'm excited for her. You know, I don't know what, you know, Rock Nation is going to do for her. I think they're going to, they're trying to recoup their funds, clearly. I'm spending all this money on Megan, but... Um, I'm glad that she is at a bigger label because I know she has been working hard for a long time, but I just feel like, God damn it, like, you followed up right behind Megan and signed with Rock Nation. Like, come on, y'all. Rock Nation don't have a lot of pop artists over there. Rihanna hasn't made music in years, and to be honest, Lil Uzi is the only thing really holding Rock Nation up because it's not Meg. When it comes to sales and money and tickets being sold and all of that, Lil Uzi is the one really holding it up you know it's not it's not um it's not megan people you know aren't really buying megan and they're really not streaming and um you know it seems like her star has kind of like fizzled out overnight when it comes to music like she's kind of like cardi b cardi b's known more for fashion and being an influencer than she is for music and she's doing music but it's again doesn't have an album uh out just riding the wave of doing features and um with megan same thing like she's not even doing features right now she's you know talking about so she had an album now she don't have an album and it's just like because rock nation not spending no more money on you they tired of you they're not spending no more money on you the money you were supposed the money they were supposed to spend on your album they just spent signing ken the man that's where your album went and that's what's again is I feel vindicated because it just shows how similar of artists they are. Like I'm, I'm a, I'm a big music head. I listen to a lot of music, and I'm your, I'm, I'm a person with fucking eyes and ears to see and listen. You guys, they are interchangeable artists. Megan and Ken the Man are the same fucking artist. So they just were like, okay, you know, we're just gonna get shit same like it's like the same product with new packaging or a new name really because the package is damn near the same like coke versus diet coke it's kind of a different taste kind of a different look taste damn near the same but you know they have their own they have their followings in their own right right so that's how i see you know megan and ken the man and the labels see them the same way because the labels don't give a fuck about these people they see them as products Hence the fucking Diet Coke and Coke reference. So that's what this is all about. This is about recouping. This is a pyramid scheme. Labels are Ponzi schemes, pyramid schemes, multi-level marketing schemes, venture capital fucking machines. That's what labels are. It's all about, you know, just pimping another person. So I don't know where Ken the Man is going to end up. I think her name... Just like Megan Thee Stallion. That's another thing they have in common. Their names both lend themselves to the sexual confusion agenda. Because Megan Thee Stallion is named after a male horse. And Ken the Man is like, you're a woman, but you're named Ken the Man? Like, that doesn't even make any sense. The backwards, the confusion. See what I'm saying? Like, it's supposed to be Barbie, but she's Ken. You know, the man. It's strange. So... It's a lot of occultism going on. It's a lot of fuckery going on, you guys. Like, the music industry is full of so much Satanism. Like, it, it, that's because that's who runs it. Lucifer is at the helm of the music industry, entertainment, the world, period. 
And it's just so satanic to see these artists and they run head first towards it. They run head first towards it. You know, Ken and Man has consistently grind it, grind it, grind it, so she could be in the industry. And now she's got her big break. And what and what do they do? They go run over there to them Carters because everybody want to pick with Beyonce. Everybody think they're gonna be big like Jay, Rihanna, Kanye. You know, and Jay Z has made some big artists, but it's a lot of people who. You know, Jay-Z fucked over too. Again, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. And you never know how these people are going to do you. It's a lot more into it. How much you're willing to do, bloodline, you know, it's a lot, you guys. So, I'm wishing Ken the Man the best. We'll see what happens over the next few months, how much she pops off. If she's, you know, starts getting all these endorsements and we're going to start to see, you know, what happens with Megan. I definitely feel like Megan... I'm glad you got your degree, sis, because you're going to need it. I'm glad you have something that you could fall back on because I'm so sorry with Rock Nation signing Ken the Man. That's your replacement, boo. It's so crazy how it works. Them tables do turn. I was just making a video talking about how Megan got Ken the Man out the way. Now Ken the Man is getting Megan out the way because they're interchangeable artists. And I... You know, I think Megan is going to kind of start to fade. It's going to be weird. I wouldn't be surprised if she starts to complain about Rock Nation publicly. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. And she's just going to end up in the same boat she was in in 1501, which she was really better off at 1501. And she's going to end up right back there complaining. And like Erica Banks, with this, it's going to be, it's like, Megan, you did, you did all of that. Just so you could spend the, you know... The next five to ten years of your life in in court the entire time. Like, I just, I don't get it. These artists, they run over there and I just don't get it, you guys. So, you know, we'll see. I find it funny how Tory Lanez is still releasing music and all of this. You know, doing what he got to do. And Meg is looking real dry over there at the fucking barn. Megan has no family around her. She's out there. They got it right where they want her. It's so sad. So let's talk in the comments, y'all. Bye.